Hello! Well, now that Red Hat has announced .NET Core 2.0 for Linux, let's take a look at something that might be kind of useful. As you know, a lot of people have .NET Framework applications, and some people have expressed the desire, a lot of people actually, expressed the desire to port them over to .NET Core 2.0. Now granted, you can't run IIS on .NET Core, but you can run your libraries with some changes, maybe no changes, and that's what we're going to look at today. So here I have .NET running version 2 on RHEL, and I'm going to show you this tool that Microsoft has called API Port. It's right here in a GitHub repo, Microsoft slash .NET dash API Port. And you go down here and you'll see the instructions on how to set up and run it. You can run it as a standalone app, or you can run it as a Visual Studio extension. In my case, I will run it as a standalone app running on Linux. So here are the instructions to build it. I've gone ahead and done that, and instructions how to run it and I'll show you how that works. So what I'm going to compare it against is the OpenStack SDK for .NET. This is a library that we built at Rackspace over three years ago, and it allows .NET developers to use OpenStack, which is the open source cloud operating system. So I've gone ahead and downloaded that onto my RHEL machine, so I have everything going here. So all I have to do now is run a command I run the, the API port DLL, that's the program, I'm going to analyze it. I picked the file, which is the OpenStack DLL, the output is HTML, and I'm going to write it to my shared folder that I, or directory that I have between Windows and RHEL, so then I can open it very easily in Microsoft Edge. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. The screen gets a little wonky, I, I think there's some maybe improvements there, but uh, it's done. So now if I go into a shared directory, there's the result HTML, and I bring it up. How compatible will this .NET Framework application that was written with Framework 4.5, how will it compare to .NET Core 2.0? And there are the results. As you can see, it scored a 100% compatibility rating with .NET Core. That means this framework will run on .NET Core. In fact, it's 99.18% with .NET Framework 4.7, if you were going to upgrade that, you would have to make some changes. So in this case, you'd be better off running it in Core than Framework, the newest framework. And in fact, .NET Standard 2.0, which is now a specification, it's also 100% compatible. So there you have it. That's how you can take your application, run it against this tool, and see how compatible it is with .NET Core 2.0. You might be surprised. Thank you very much.